we're going to switch gears for, for, for a little bit. Uh, what is dual office holding and uh, how does that affect the state of New Jersey? Um, dual office holding, uh, as you know, is one of those situations where uh, you can be a member of the state senate or state assembly and then you can also be a mayor of a city or town in the state. You could also be a council member, you could be on the school board, you could be anywhere else. Um, you know, and we've, you know, so it's like double dipping. It, it's double dipping because it, it affects your pension and everything else. But probably more importantly, you know, it's, you know, I believe it's a form of corruption in this state that needs to be fixed because of the fact that when you hold both of those seats, guess what? You're making sure that money gets to your city or you're making sure things happen for your city. And that's, that's important. You should, you'd, you'd want and to. And that's a conflict of interest. Absolutely. Absolutely, Esther. And, and that, that, that's the state legislature, in fact, I'm glad you mentioned it because the state legislature passed this bill this, this year uh, banning dual office holding, but big caveats, big holes in that bill. They said that um, anybody who is currently having a dual, a dual office holder, and that was 19 members of the Assembly and State Senate, were grandfathered in. And so they were able to keep their position. Yes, and anybody running, anybody running in this election, it doesn't take effect until February. So anybody running in this election is not even affected. So, so somebody who's a mayor in a town who happens to be running for a Senate seat or Assembly seat could get elected and still keep both those offices. So, so, so are, are they pay double or, um, I mean, obviously there's a conflict of interest, but the, the money issue uh, is a factor too, I would s suspect. Tell us a little bit that they, they get two incomes or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in most cases they're getting two incomes. They're getting paid twice, which feeds into their pension for the future, for their retirement in the state, they got a state part of the state pension fund. But, but I think the, the real crux of that issue is the, uh, is the conflict of interest with what their service is. When they go to the state legislature, you need to be looking at the full state, besides your district, but you got to look at the full state and solve problems for the entire state and not sit there and just fight for your city and, and make sure that things happen only for your city or only for your town. I think you've got to look at everyone in the, in this, across the state, and that doesn't always happen. It's interesting. You, know, just, you saw the indictments. Uh, you know, the uh, U.S. attorney, Chris Christie, just indicted. Uh, 11 politicians just a couple of weeks ago. Two of those were assemblymen who have or dual office holders. What a surprise. Mm. You know, so it, it reinforces the fact that we need to fix that amongst other things of corruption. There's a lot of other things in New Jersey that still need to be fixed on a corruption. And I, I don't believe the state Senate, state assembly have shown the guts to go fix that problem. Now tell us, what do you feel that you could do that Shirley Turner hasn't done? And, and we're down to just a couple minutes. Primarily is um, I get things done. Uh, I've, I've shown that in 25 years of work. I don't owe anybody anything. There's no special interest involved with me. Um, and I'm going to bring a lot of new ideas to Trenton. And so uh, what I'm going to bring is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think Shirley Turner seems like a nice person, but she hasn't gotten the job done. And with property taxes arriving, uh, going up over time, gang violence going up over time, um, those issues have not been addressed by my opponent. I'm, I plan to go after those issues and focus on it full time. Uh, I am. I'm on a leave of absence from my work right now. I will, t I will take on this job full time. I will retire from my job and do be a state senator for the people in the 15th district, uh, district full time during that period of time. So uh, you do have a couple debates coming up with Senator Turner. So how, how would people be able to tune into that and how can they find that schedule? Um, well, you can check out our website. We'll put it on there, uh, www.bobmartinforsenate.com. That will be on there. Um, senator Turner has agreed to debate uh, our campaign managers are talking, so we're tr sorting out some dates, so we'll see what happens. We're trying to work up some venues. We'd love to have the College of New Jersey or Ryder University or somewhere host those. Uh, League of Women Voters has talked to us, so we're trying to work out something with them. But it'll be on our website, and uh, we'll, we'll get it out in the press. All right. Well, thank you for coming on, Bob Martin, and sharing your viewpoint. And thank you for watching. I'm Esther Mills.